हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक एग्रीकल्चर जीके एंड जनरल अवेयरनेस पार्ट वन फॉर वेरियस एग्रीकल्चर कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट वी विल गो थ्रो इम्पोर्टेंट ईयर्स इन एग्रीकल्चर लाइक इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ राइस वाइज डिक्लेयर इज टू इंटरनेशनल पोलर ईयर टू International Potato Year was declared as 2008. 2009 was declared as International Natural Fiber Year. International Biodiversity Year was 2010. International Forest Year 2011. International Water Cooperation Year 2013. International Family Farming Year 2014. International Soil Year is known as 2015. International Pulses Year. was celebrated in 2016 international plant health year 2020 international fruit and vegetable year has been declared for 2021 and 2022 will be celebrated as international artisanal fisheries and aquaculture year and 2013 will be as international millets year as per food and agriculture organization important world or international days in agriculture world wetland day second february world wildlife day celebrated on 3rd march as per united nations world consumer day 15th march international day of forest 11th march declared by united nations and food and agriculture organization world water day 22nd march as per united nations world meteorological day celebrated on 23rd march international day of poverty eradication 17th march which is declared by united nations international labor day 1st may international day of biological diversity 22nd may as per united nations world milk day 1st june is declared by united nations world environment day 5th june as per united nations world coconut day Second September is for Coconut Development Board. World Animal Welfare Day, 4th October. World Food Security Day is celebrated on 6th October. International Day of Women Labour, 15th October, is for observation by United Nations. World Food Day, 16th October, is declared by Food and Agriculture Organization (FAO). And World Soil Day is observed by Food and Agriculture Organization on 5th December. World Tea Day which is celebrated on 15 December in countries like India, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Tanzania while in case of United Nations it is declared on 21st May World Coffee Day on 1st October World Farmers Day 23rd December World Earth Day 22nd April World Pulses Day 10th February International Seeds Day 26th April World Fruit Day 1st July World Chicken Day which is celebrated on 2nd Thursday of October World Egg Day 2nd Friday of October month World Fisheries Day 21st November World Trade Organization Foundation Day 1st January Intellectual Property Day on 26th April World Veterinary Day which is celebrated on last Saturday of April World Honey Day 28th August World Fish Day 21st November and World Bamboo Day is declared as 18th September Important national days in agriculture in India National Milk Day is declared on 26th November National Panchayati Raj Day 24th April NABARD Foundation Day 12th July Indian Council of Agriculture Research ICR Foundation Day 16th July National Milk Day 26th November Agriculture Women Day 4th December Kisan Divas Farmers Day 23rd December Water Resource Day 11th March National Agriculture Day 1st July National Fish Husbandry Day 10th July and National Agriculture Education Day is declared on 3rd December which is the birthday of Dr Rajendra Prasad Now we will go through various agricultural revolutions in India. First one is Green Revolution, which was founded by Dr. Normal Borlaug and Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. 
टू इंक्रीज एग्रीकल्चरल फूड ग्रेन प्रोडक्शन इन आवर कंट्री ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन वॉज हैविंग सिग्निफिकेंट इम्पैक्ट ऑन इम्प्रूविंग ईल्ड्स एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ व्हीट एंड राइस क्रॉप्स इन लेट नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज एंड अर्ली नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज सेकेंड इज प्रोटीन रिवोल्यूशन विच वॉज क्वाइंड बाई प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी एंड फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर अरुण जेटली फॉर हायर प्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड टू प्रोटीन एंड इट वॉज टेक्नोलॉजी ड्राइव सेकेंड ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन थर्ड वन इज रेड रिवोल्यूशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू मीट प्रोडक्शन एंड टोमेटो प्रोडक्शन एंड इट वॉज फाउंडेड बाई विशाल तिवारी फोर्थ वन इज ब्लैक रिवोल्यूशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू क्रूड ऑयल प्रोडक्शन पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स एंड बायोडीजल फिफ्थ वन इज ब्राउन रिवोल्यूशन रिवोल्यूशन विच वॉज फाउंडेड बाई डॉक्टर हीरालाल चौधरी टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ लेदर कोको एंड नॉन कन्वेंशनल प्रोडक्ट्स सिक्स वन इज ब्लू रिवोल्यूशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू फिशरीज एंड इट वॉज स्टार्टेड बाई डॉक्टर अरुण कृष्णन टू इंक्रीज फिश प्रोडक्शन इज यूवर ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन विच वॉज फाउंडेड बाई डॉक्टर एम एस स्वामीनाथन एंड दिस रिवोल्यूशन वॉज स्टार्टेड इन इलेवंथ फाइव ईयर प्लान विथ द पर्पज टू इंक्रीज ओवरऑल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एट्थ वन इज सिल्वर रिवोल्यूशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू एग प्रोडक्शन एंड पोल्ट्री प्रोडक्शन एंड इट वॉज स्टार्टेड बाई लेट प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्रीमती इंदिरा गांधी नाइन्थ वन इज गोल्डन फाइबर रिवोल्यूशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू इंक्रीज जूट प्रोडक्शन टेंथ वन इज सिल्वर फाइबर रिवोल्यूशन टू इंक्रीज कॉटन प्रोडक्शन इन आवर कंट्री इलेवंथ इज गोल्डन रिवोल्यूशन विच वॉज फाउंडेड बाई नेरपैक टू टेच एंड टू इनहेंस एंड इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फ्रूट्स हनी प्रोडक्शन एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर डेवलपमेंट्स ट्वेल्थ वन इज राउंड रिवोल्यूशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू इंक्रीज पोटेटो प्रोडक्शन थर्टीन इज पिंक रिवोल्यूशन विच वॉज फाउंडेड बाई दुर्गेश एस पटेल टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अनियन फार्मास्यूटिकल्स एंड प्रॉन प्रोडक्शन देन फोर्टीन इज ग्रे रिवोल्यूशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू इनहेंस द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स फिफ्टीन इज येलो रिवोल्यूशन विच वॉज फाउंडेड बाई सेम पित्रोदा to increase oil seed production especially mustard safflower and sunflower crops 16th is white revolution which is also known as operation flood which was founded by vargish kurian to increase the milk production in our country now list of five year plans which are also known as panchvarshi yojana first five year plan was for the period 1951 to 1956 second plan was from 1956 to 1961 third five year plan was from 1961 to 1966 after 1966 there was break of five year plan and there were plan holidays or annual plans were continued from 1966 to 1969 and again in 1969 the fourth five year plan was resumed and it was for the period 1969 to 1974 fifth five year plan was from 1974 to 1978 again after 1978 to 1980 there were rolling plans annual plans from 1978 to 1980 sixth five year plan was continued from 1980 to 1985 seventh plan was from 1985 to 1990 and after that again there were annual plans from 1992 to 1992 eighth plan was resumed from 1992 to 1997 ninth five year plan was period 1997 to 2002 tenth five year plan period was from 2002 to 2007 and eleventh five year plan was from 2007 to 2012 and twelfth five year plan was continued from 2012 to 2017 In 2014, Narendra Modi government decided to wind down, wind up the Planning Commission, and it was replaced by the newly formed Niti Aayog. After dissolving five-year plan, Niti Aayog launched three years action plan from 1st April 2017, which is regulated by Niti Aayog. Government schemes for agriculture. There are various government schemes launched for the improvement of agriculture to support the farmers community. 
लाइक प्रधानमंत्री किसान मानधन योजना वाज लॉन्च ऑन सेप्टेम्बर टू प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि योजना ऑन दिसंबर 2018 प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना वाज लॉन्च इन 2016 सोयल हेल्थ कार्ड स्कीम वाज रेगुलेटेड ऑन 19 फरवरी 2015 नेशनल फूड सिक्योरिटी मिशन वाज डिक्लेयर्ड ऑन अक्टूबर 2007 परंपरागत कृषि विकास योजना वाज स्टार्टेड इन 2015 प्रधानमंत्री कृषि सिंचाई योजना वाज लॉन्च ऑन फर्स्ट जुलाई 2015 नेशनल एग्रीकल्चर मार्केट विच इज नॉन एज ई नेम वाज स्टार्टेड ऑन फोर्टीन अप्रैल 2016 राष्ट्रीय कृषि विकास योजना वाज स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड 2007-2008 किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड स्कीम वाज लॉन्च इन 1998-99 नेशनल वाटर सेट डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट फॉर रेनफेड एरियाज वाज ड्यूरिंग पीरियड 1992-1991 प्रधानमंत्री अन्नदाता आय संरक्षण अभियान वाज स्टार्टेड इन 2018 डेरी इंटरप्रेन्योरशिप डेवलपमेंट स्कीम वाज स्टार्टेड बाय गवर्नमेंट ड्यूरिंग 2005-2006 राष्ट्रीय गोकुल मिशन वाज स्टार्टेड इन 2014 एंड नेशनल लाइव स्टॉक मिशन इन 2014 विद द व्यू टू इंक्रीज द एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन एंड सपोर्ट फार्मिंग कम्युनिटी for the purpose of maximizing the output agricultural yields now government schemes for rural development like minimum needs program was started in first fifth five year plan during 1974 to 1978 20 point program bisutriya program was started on 1st july 1975 5 then food for work program was launched in april 1977 integrated rural development program irdp was launched in 1978-79 training for rural youth for self employment trisem was declared during year 1979 on august 15 then national rural employment program was declared on october 1980 rural landless employment guarantee program was launched on 15th august 1983 development of women and children in rural areas dwc ra was started in 1982 self employment for the educated unemployed youths was launched in 1983-84 indira awas yojana was in 1980 integrated rural energy planning program was started by government in 1986-87 Jawahar Rozgar was started on 1st April 1989 then Kutir Jyoti program was launched in 1988-89 year employment assurance scheme was declared on 2nd October 1993 national old age pension scheme was started by government on government on 15th August 1995 Jal Jeevan Mission was started on 15th August 2019 National Social Assistance Program was launched on 15th August 1995 Jawahar Gram Samriddhi Yojana was taken by the government on 1st April 1999 Swarn Jayanti Gram Swarajgar Yojana was started on 1st April 1999 Bharat Nirman Yojana was started on 16th May 2005 Annapurna Yojana in April 2000 Antyodaya Anna Yojana was started by government on 25 December 2000 Pradhan Mantri Gramin Sadak Yojana on 25 December 2000 and provision of urban amenities in rural areas PURA scheme was launched in January 2003 Other schemes for rural development is Sampurn Gramin Rozgar Yojana was started on 25 September 2001 सर्व शिक्षा अभियान वाज लॉन्च्ड इन 2000-2001 ईयर विलेज ग्रामीण बैंक स्कीम वाज स्टार्टेड इन नवंबर 2004 महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी एक्ट मनरेगा वाज स्टार्टेड इन 2005 नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन वाज लॉन्च्ड ऑन 12th अप्रैल 2005 आम आदमी बीमा योजना वाज स्टार्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव्स ऑन 2 अक्टूबर 2007 
National Rural Livelihood Mission was started in 2011. Roshni Skill Development Scheme for Tribals was started on 7th June 2013. Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana was started on 28th August 2014. Pandit Din Dayal Upadhyay Gramin Kausal Yojana was started in 25th September 2014. Swach Bharat Mission was started on 2nd October 2014. The Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana was launched by government in 2016. The Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana also in 2016. Gram Panchayat Development Plan with the motto Sabki Yojana Sabka Bikas was launched in October 2018. Prime Minister Jan Aryog Yojana was started on 25th September 2018. Pradhan Mantri Santri Sram Yogi Mandhan Yojana in February 2019. One Nation One Rasan Card Scheme was launched on 1st June 2020. Grief Kalyan Rojgar Abhiyan was started on 28th June 2020. Prime Minister Swanidhi Yojana on 1st June 2020. Sahkar Mitra Scheme on 12th June 2020, Sansad Adars Gram Yojana was started on 11th October 2014, Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana or Indra Awas Yojana was on 17th June 2015 and Syama Prasad Mukherjee Urban Mission on 2016. Now essential plant nutrients. We have shown here the chemical symbols and its form of absorption by plants. There are two types of nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients. Under macronutrients, which are also known as mature nutrients, it is having the two categories, primary nutrients and secondary nutrients. Under primary nutrients, the nutrients falling carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. And Major nutrients under secondary nutrients category is calcium, magnesium and sulfur. Carbon is available to the plants in the form of carbon dioxide and hydrogen in the form of water and oxygen is available to the plants in the form of elemental oxygen and from water and nitrogen is absorbed by plant in the form of ammonia, nitrate and also in ammonium form urea form and molecular nitrogen. Phosphorus is absorbed by the plant in the form of HPO4 and H2PO4 and also in the form of nucleic acid and phytin and potassium which is in the form of potassium cations. Then the secondary nutrients calcium, magnesium and sulfur are needed to the plants but these are falling under secondary nutrients. Now the micronutrients which consist of iron, zinc, manganese, copper, boron, molybdenum, chlorine, silicon, sodium, cobalt, vanadium, selenium, gallium, aluminium and iodine. These are the nutrients which are needed by the plants for their metabolic activities but in very very small quantities. So these are all about essential elements for the plant nutrition. Now agroclimatic zones of India. It has been divided in 15 agroclimatic zones like first one is western Himalayan zone, second is eastern Himalayan zone, third is lower Gangetic plains, fourth is middle Gangetic plains, fifth is upper Gangetic plains, sixth one trans Gangetic plains, seventh is eastern plateau and hills, eighth zone is central plateau and hill zone, ninth is Western Plateau and Hills Zone, 10th is Southern Plateau and Hills, 11th is East Coast Plains and Hills, 12th is West Coast Plains and Hills, 13th is Gujarat Plains and Hills, and 14th Western Dry Region and 15 Island Zones. So now we will study about each zone in detail. First one is Western Himalayan Zone. This zone consists of three district subzones of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand hills. And the major crops of this zone is saffron, maize, barley, oat and wheat, peaches, apricot, 
pears, pears cherry, almond, lychee, and walnut. Second zone is Eastern Himalayan zone, which comprises of Sikkim and Darjeeling hills, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura, Mizoram, Assam, and Jalpaiguri. Kuch Bihar and Darjeeling districts of East Bengal falls under this region with high rainfall and high forest cover. And the major crops can be categorized as rice, maize, potato, tea, orchards of pineapple, lychee, oranges, and lime. Third zone is Lower Gangetic Plains zone. This zone consists of West Bengal Lower Gangetic Plain regions, except hilly region, and Eastern Bihar and Brahmaputra Valley. And the major crops of lower Gangetic Plains zones are rice, jute, maize, potato, and pulses. Fourth one is Middle Gangetic Plains zone. This zone consists of 12, 12 districts of Eastern Uttar Pradesh and 27 districts of Bihar Plains. And the major crops like rice, maize, millets, wheat, gram, barley, peach, mustard, and potatoes are grown in these zones. Fifth one is Upper Gangetic Plains Zone, which is consist of central and western parts of Uttar Pradesh and Haridwar and Udham Singh Nagar districts of Uttarakhand. And the major crops under this zone is wheat, rice, sugarcane, millets, maize, gram, barley, oil seeds, and pulse crops. Sixth zone is Trans Gangetic Plains Zone which consists of Punjab, Haryana, Union Territories of Delhi and Chandigarh, and Sri Ganganagar district of Rajasthan. And the major crops of Trans-Gangetic Plain Zone, wheat, sugarcane, cotton, rice, gram, maize, millets, pulses, and oil seeds. Seventh zone is Eastern Plateau and Hills Zone, which consists of Chotnagpur Plateau, extending over Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Dandkaranya, eastern part of Madhya Pradesh and southern part of West Bengal and most of inland of Odisha. In the major crops under this zone, rice, millets, maize, oil seeds, ragi, gram, potato, tuar means pigeon pea, groundnut, soybean, urd, and castor, etc. Eighth zone is central plateau and hills zone, which comprises of six districts of Madhya Pradesh parts of Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan having Bundel Khand, Bagel Khand, Bhandar Plateau, Malwa Plateau and Bindhyachal Hills. And the major crops of Central Plateau and Hill zones are millets, wheat, gram, oil seeds, cotton and sunflower. Ninth zone is Western Plateau and Hills zone which consists of major parts of Maharashtra which is of southern parts of Malwa Plateau and Dakkan Plateau and parts of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. And the major crops of western plateau and hill zones are wheat, gum, millets, cotton, pulses, groundnut, oil seeds, sugarcane, rice, wheat, oranges, grapes, and bananas. Tenth zone is southern plateau and hills zone, which consists of interior Dakkan and includes parts of southern Maharashtra, the greater parts of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, which are typically semi-arid zones. And the major crops are millets, oil seeds, pulses, coffee, tea, cardamom, and spices. Eleventh zone is East Coast Plains and Hills Zone, which is comprises of East Coast of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Odisha. And the major crops of this zone, rice, jute, tobacco, sugarcane, maize, millets, groundnut, and oil seeds. Twelfth zone is West Coast Plains and Ghat zone, which is the mixture of West Coast of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Goa, which are Malabar and Kokan coastal plains and the Sahyadri regions. And the major crops of West Coast Plains and Ghat zones are rice, coconut, oil seeds, sugarcane, millets, pulses, and cotton crop. Thirteenth zone is Gujarat Plains and Hills zone which consists of 19 districts of Gujarat covering hills and plains of Gathiawad and the fertile valleys of Mahi and Sabarmati rivers. And the major crops of Gujarat plains and hills zone are groundnut, cotton, rice, millets, 
ऑयल सीड्स व्हीट एंड टोबैको फोर्टीन एग्रोक्लाइमेटिक जोन इज वेस्टर्न ड्राई जोन विच इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ नाइन डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ राजस्थान एंड दिस जोन इज करेक्टराइज बाई हॉट सेंडी डिजर्ट इरेटिक रेनफॉल्स हाई इवेपोरेशन एंड एस्केंटी वेजिटेशन एंड द मेजर क्रॉप्स ऑफ दिस जोन इज बाजरा ज्वार मौत व्हीट एंड ग्राम फिफ्टीन जोन इज आइसलैंड जोन विच कवर्स द आइलैंड ट्रेटीज ऑफ अंदमान एंड निकोबार एंड लक्षदीप एंड द मेजर क्रॉप्स ऑफ दिस जोन राइस मेज मिलेट्स पल्सेस एरेक्नट्स टर्मेरिक एंड कसावा नाउ क्रॉप क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन लाइफ साइकिल ऑन दिस बेसिस द क्रॉप्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन थ्री कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट ऑन इज एनुअल क्रॉप सेकेंड इज बाइनियल क्रॉप्स एंड थर्ड इज प्रेनियल क्रॉप्स वाट आर एनुअल क्रॉप्स द क्रॉप प्लांट्स दैट कंप्लीट द लाइफ साइकिल विद इन ए सीजन और ईयर आर नॉन एज एनुअल क्रॉप्स दिज क्रॉप्स प्रोड्यूस सीड एंड डाई विद इन द सीजन लाइक व्हीट राइस मेज मस्टर्ड एट्सेट्रा एंड सेकेंड इज बैनियल क्रॉप्स दीज आर द क्रॉप्स दैट हैव लाइफ स्पेन ऑफ टू कंजिव सीजन और ईयर्स इन फर्स्ट ईयर और फर्स्ट सीजन दे आर हैविंग प्योरली वेजिटेटिव ग्रोथ एंड सेकेंड सीजन दे आर हैविंग रिप्रोडक्टिव ग्रोथ एंड सीड प्रोडक्शन द एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक शुगर बीट बीट रूट कैबेज रेडिस एंड कैरेट क्रॉप्स थर्ड वन इज प्रेनियल क्रॉप्स दीज आर द क्रॉप्स विच आर हैविंग द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ मोर टू ईयर्स और थ्री ईयर्स और मोर दे मे बी सीड बियरिंग और नॉन सीड बियरिंग एंड द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ प्रेनियल क्रॉप्स लाइक नेपियर फोडर ग्रास कोकोनट क्रॉप इन जनरल प्रेनियल क्रॉप्स ऑक्यूपाई लैंड फॉर मोर देन थर्टी मंथस नाउ सीजनल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्रॉप्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच द क्रॉप्स आर ग्रुप्ड अंडर थ्री सीजन फर्स्ट वन इज खरीफ सीजन और साउथ वेस्ट मानसून सीजन दीज क्रॉप्स आर ऑल्सो नॉन एज वेस्ट सीजन क्रॉप्स दीज आर द क्रॉप्स ग्रोन ड्यूरिंग जून जुलाई मंथ टू सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर एंड दीज क्रॉप्स रिक्वायर्ड ए वार्म वेट वेदर ड्यूरिंग देयर मेजर पीरियड ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड शोर्टर डे लेंथ फॉर फ्लोरिंग एंड द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सम खरीफ क्रॉप्स आर राइस मेज ज्वार बाजरा कैस्टर एंड ग्राउंडनट सेकेंड कैटेगरी इज रब क्रॉप्स विच आर ऑल्सो नॉन एज पोस्ट मानसून क्रॉप्स और ड्राई सीजन क्रॉप्स दीज आर द क्रॉप्स ग्रोन ड्यूरिंग फ्रॉम अक्टूबर नवंबर टू जनवरी फरवरी एंड दीज क्रॉप्स रिक्वायर कोल्ड ड्राई वेदर फॉर देयर मेजर ग्रोथ पीरियड एंड लॉन्गर डे लेंथ फॉर फ्लोरिंग एंड द सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ रबी क्रॉप्स आर व्हीट मस्टर्ड बार्ले ओट्स पोटैटो बंगाल ग्राम बरसीम कैबेज एंड कॉलीफ्लावर थर्ड वन इज जायद और समर क्रॉप्स दीज आर द क्रॉप्स ग्रोन ड्यूरिंग फरवरी मार्च टू मे जून एंड दीज क्रॉप्स रिक्वायर वार्म ड्राई वेदर फॉर ग्रोथ एंड लॉन्गर डे लेंथ फॉर फ्लोरिंग जनरली दीज क्रॉप्स आर हैविंग वेरी शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दीज समर क्रॉप्स आर लाइक ब्लैक ग्राम ग्रीन ग्राम सिसम एंड काउपी now different agrometeorological instrument about which we will study here first one is anemometer anemometer are the instruments which are used to measure the speed of wind in miles per hour second is wind vane this instrument is used to measure the direction of the wind at any given point in time third is thermometer which is used to measure temperature either in fahrenheit or celsius fourth one is six maximum and minimum thermometer This instrument is used to show the difference in temperature over a period of time usually one day so there is recording of maximum and minimum temperature fifth one is thermograph these are the devices which are automatic self recording thermometers which mark the prevailing temperature continuously on graph paper sixth one is rain gauge rain gauge is an instrument which is used to measure the amount of liquid precipitation or rainfall over a certain period of time seventh is distrometer distrometer is an instrument which is used to measure the drop size distribution and velocity of falling hydrometeors means the drop size droplets of rainfall eighth is hygrometer 
which is the instrument used to measure the relative humidity in percentage ninth is sling psychrometer which is used to measure the relative humidity percent based on the effect of evaporation using two thermometers which are one having wet bulb and second is having dry bulb thermometer which are placed in a sling now 10th is stevenson's screen stevenson's screen is a meteorological screen which is used to shield or protect instruments against precipitation and direct heat radiation from out sources while still allowing air to circulate freely around them so it is permitting the air circulation but protecting from the precipitation and direct heat radiations 11th instrument is barometer which is used to measure atmospheric pressure providing the measurement in millibars 12th is campbell stokes recorder which is also known as sunshine recorder this is a device that records the amount of sunshine duration at a given location or region at any time 13th is evaporation pan this is a device which measures the amount of water evaporated in certain time from a surface means it is measuring the evaporation losses 14th is hail pads which is used to measure the size of hail that fall during a, a storm and 15th is a snow gauge a snow gauge is a device which is used to measure the amount of solid precipitation is opposed to liquid precipitation that is measured by rain gauge 16th is whole sky camera these are the devices which are specialized designed camera used in meteorology and astronomy for capturing a photograph of the entire sky over a certain amount of time now 17th is pressure sensor this is a device which is used for pressure measurement of gases or liquids so this presentation was all about miscellaneous information regarding agriculture general knowledge gk and general awareness which is important for various agriculture competitive exams and general competitions hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava vastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you